Good morning. I will present you a very short video showing how to record a slideshow using PowerPoint itself to make the recording. So, um, if you want to do that, you have to go to the slideshow menu, which is in French diaporama, and uh, you will find that icon which says record the, the slideshow. And so, uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. I click on it. And then I see that window. Um, first, you see that my image is here. You can rid of it, get rid of it if you want. Uh, I suggest that you keep it because it's nice. Um, then it's pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, you can uh, start the recording, stop it, then play it. This the notes are the notes that you can um, type in the slides. And uh, there's no notes in that first slide, but then afterward I use them for the second one. And um, I really suggest that you use it, uh, that functionality, because those notes will be helpful even if you don't um, just read them uh, aloud. Then, um, of course, you can erase and then the parameters uh, just are the microphone and that I use. I've taken my headphones because I get a better sound and the, the webcam, um, the, the computer's webcam. Uh, last thing you can see that you can highlight, you can uh, write using different colors and then you can uh, erase. So um, what you have to do then is to move uh, from one slide to another. That's easy you can use the the arrows that you see on both side of the slides you can also use the direction keys um, next and back so i go to the second slide what i suggest is that you don't uh, talk uh, when you when you go to uh, another slide and same uh, remark when um, if there is an animation uh, it's better to stop um, wait till the end of the animation before talking so let's go to slide number two So on that slide, um, here it, it's the same thing. Uh, for instance, I can uh, highlight, um, this is the, the functionality that we are currently using. I can write, uh, okay. Then um, the difference on, on that slide are the notes that I have um, typed uh, before. So here you see, that uh, it's pretty tiny, the window, but you, you can, the, w the window will remain the same, but you can change the size of the font. And if you take a bigger size, then you get a, you get a, a scroll bar. Um, so, uh, as I said, I think it's nice to type, to have some uh, content which is ready, and then the best way would be to improvise on that content and not just read, because uh, then uh, there, there would be less spontaneity. Um, so, you know almost uh, everything about the, the recording. Uh, what I have to do now is to stop, or try to stop. Uh, because strangely it doesn't work um, okay so um, I don't know why it's not working that's a demo effect I stop this um, and um, Normally, what you should be able to do is to uh, export the, the video. So uh, I went to, since I'm using Windows, there's a file menu. Apparently on Mac, you don't have that file menu, but then in the system, there's a file menu, and then you will be offered to export the video. You will choose a, a, a format. I suggest MP4 um, here. So I go to export, um, create a video, um, full HD. Um, then this information here is about it's for the slides that for which there would be no uh, predetermined animation or for which you didn't record anything and then they would last five seconds but it's not relevant for what we're talking about. And then I say create the video and um, and so um, I'm going to record that um, like this and you see that uh, there's a, a progression bar here which says um, that um, PowerPoint is creating the video sometimes it's pretty slow 
Um, and that's it. Uh, that's what uh, you will have to upload uh, in the assignment. Um, so uh, I will stop the recording here.